All right, so right now we have the pre-Sonus Eris Studio 5. These are active speakers. And I just ordered this through Amazon, got delivered. This thing got delivered right now, a few, few minutes back. So since I ordered two of them, two active speakers. So this is how, anyway, just before opening, this is how the box looks like. And let's open it up and just I'll give you a video shot of how it looks, how the kind of box that it comes in. So these are the boxes inside which you have the two speakers. You can see the name, it's completely... I hope it's visible on the camera. Yeah, there you have it. So once you open the box, these are the components that you'll find inside. First of all, you have the main speaker. Then you have a power cable. Then you have got four sticky tapes that you can put on the base of the speaker um, to get some stability when you keep your speaker on a desk or a stand. And then finally we have a user manual. Now coming back to the main speaker, we have a 5.25 inch speaker over here. And then this is a one inch speaker. This basically takes care of the low frequency and this one takes care of the ultra low frequency. And this one has got a sound stage. Uh, if you talk horizontally, then you have a 120 degree. And if you talk about the vertical sound stage, it has a spectrum of about 60 degree, the vertical one. Behind the speaker, you have got a few knobs. First of all, you have got the gain, the knob that controls the overall gain. Then there's an option of standby. Uh, you can put it on on or off. This is off, this is on. This basically means when you're not using the speaker for a certain period of time, the speaker will get automatically, it will come back, come to a standby mode if it's an on, all right. Then you have a knob to control the mid frequency of, this, of whatever you're listening to and then another knob which controls the high frequency all right you can increase the mid by 6 db or decrease it by 6 db same with the high you can decrease by 6 db or by increase by 6 db then you have option of low cut by if it's on the flat then that means it, there's nothing happening then you have 80 hertz and then 100 hertz that's the frequency which you can cut and then you have uh, a, an option of acoustic space uh, by 0 dB on the right, then minus 2 dB and on the left you have minus 4 dB. This basically depends on your room and uh, you can adjust that according to your preference. And let's now come to the input section. You have three options. One unbalanced input where you can put your RCA cable. And then two balanced options where you can put a TRS cable and here you can put a XLR jack, the male one. So um, I would suggest, basically it's suggested you should go for the balanced either of the two, whichever you want. And then you have a power on off, this one over here. Then you have a button for AC select, that is you can select the voltage according to the, I think it's based on the countries you are in. So uh, I have, since I'm from India, so I've just let it be on something around, I don't know what it is, maybe 230 volt, I have no idea. Anyway, and then you have this socket where you will put your power cable. All right, so that's the basic specification of your speaker. So this is a 80 watt speaker and the frequency response is from 48 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Welcome to my party. We're just getting started. A life is a 